Whether you are playing online or by yourself, the real winners in Minecraft are the ones with the most resources. If you are a builder, the lack of resources can put your Minecraft house ideas in jeopardy. And if you're on a PvP Minecraft server, the lack of resources can even be fatal. The only problem, however, is that collecting these resources takes a lot of time. And that's where the best Minecraft farms come into play. You only have to create these amazing farms once and wait while they do the job for you. The initial effort to make these farms might take you some time, and you might have to travel to different Minecraft biomes, but after completion, you will get all the resources right at home. With that said, let's dive in and explore the 10 best Minecraft farms. Fishing is a tiring activity in Minecraft that most players usually avoid getting into. But it is also the easiest way to get a bunch of enchanted items without exploring the whole world. A Minecraft AFK fish farm allows you to do that while getting rid of the exhausting part of waiting for items. Among all the best Minecraft farms on the list, the tree farm is easily the most complex one. It can take you hours to collect resources and build this farm. But once it's ready, it's also the most efficient one among this list. Other farms, at their best, can give out dozens of items within an hour. But a well-made tree farm gives out 10, 000 plus blocks within the same time. Such efficiency makes them one of the coolest things to make in Minecraft. As you will notice, many of Minecraft's farms require you to use slime blocks. But, thanks to the relatively rare slime mobs, they aren't easy to collect. Ironically, the solution to this problem is creating a slime farm, which is quite easy to build. Well, that is, as long as you know the Minecraft commands to find the slime chunks. Whether you want to make enchanted books, maps, banners, or a variety of other customizable items, you need paper in Minecraft. But to collect paper, you must first create a sugarcane farm. Without an automatic sugarcane farm, you have to build and use a boat in Minecraft to roam around the world until you have enough sugarcane, which usually doesn't work out and is tedious. If you have enough space in your village or house area, you can grow most crops in Minecraft without putting in much effort. But that's not true for pumpkins and melons, whose growth mechanics, at times, can destroy the crops around them. Keeping that in mind, we suggest it is best to farm pumpkins and melons using an automatic farm. It protects other crops and their complex mechanics while making it easier for you to harvest them. Chickens are common mobs in Minecraft that are a great option to get food, eggs, and feathers in the game. Because of their small size and manual spawning mechanic, chickens are also a great mob to farm. Leaving the basic redstone components aside, you don't need much to build this farm. But the results it yields are enough to keep you fed for days. Quite literally. If you don't want to spend hours collecting resources and building farms, you should aim to make a simple cow farm. It can be built within minutes of spawning, and can give you plenty of food and leather within minutes of being operational. The best part, is that you can use the same simple design to farm several passive Minecraft mobs in-game. Whether you want to beat the game or need to teleport in Minecraft, the Ender Pearls are a must-have. But have you ever thought that you can have an endless supply of Ender Pearls? That's what happens with a well-made Enderman farm. 
Even though it takes a lot of traveling, the Enderman farm is one of the easiest farms in the game that gives reliable results. Creepers are scary hostile mobs in Minecraft that explode after getting close to the players. They are highly dangerous for you, your builds, and even your tamed mobs. But, if you know how to farm them, you can easily get plenty of gunpowder. This gunpowder will put all the explosives from creepers in your hand that you can later use to make TNT to attack players, kill mobs, and even mine diamonds. The new family of skulk blocks is known for their unique mechanics. But they also provide a little known additional benefit by dropping experience orbs when mined. And since you can use a skulk catalyst to spawn skulk blocks in any area, you can easily use them to collect plenty of experience in no time. You just need the right kind of farm to trigger the catalyst. 